What is going on, Raider Nation? It's your boy Sanji back at it with another video. Today, we are looking at the Raider center, Andre James, and we're going to break down his tape because, as you guys know, he's basically entering his second year as the Raiders' full time starter. And there's a lot riding on this offensive line. And one of the big things with offensive line play is you have to have a good center. Let's get right into the tape, starting with this first clip right here. One of the most important parts of playing center is to be able to move. In this play right here, Andre James is going to take on this nose. Lester Cotton does a fantastic job doubling to his right and then helping the center Andre James really move and turn his guy. This is a really solid block by both Lester Cotton, Andre James, and Jermaine Illuminor who's playing right tackle. Jumping forward into this next rep, Andre James is going to be in a pass blocking situation with this nose tackle. He does a good job in terms of handling him, but I do think he gives up just a little bit too much ground. And one of the big things that the Raiders have to do this year is to make sure that ground is not given up. To make sure that when Derek Carr throws his pass, that there's not his offensive lineman right in his face the way Andre James's guy is in his face in this play. Now, it's not just James. If you look at Lester Cotton, if you look at the left guard, left tackle, pretty much all of these guys do collapse the pocket. Now, I will say this. The one thing with the Patriots is their defensive linemen are there to collapse the pocket. In my opinion, the Patriots have one of the best defensive lines in the NFL. Between Christian Barmore, Matthew Judon, the defensive tackles that they may have, and some of the defensive ends, I think the Patriots' defensive line is pretty stout. But regardless, the Raiders pretty much have from left guard to right tackle their starters, and so there should be no excuses for them to allow the Patriots' defensive line to collapse the pocket the way they do here. Either way, the quarterback does get the ball out. He does complete the pass. Let's get into the next rep. Alrighty guys, I want to jump forward and talk about this play right here because this play is kind of interesting. Andre James is going to pull and kind of come around on this, this block. And it's interesting because of the concept, right? Uh, you'll see it a little bit better from the backside angle. But basically, you're going to get Andre James who is going to pull outwards block number 58. The nose tackle lined up in front of him is going to get trapped by number 45. And then basically these two guys are going to work from here up to this linebacker. Lester Cotton's going to work up to number 8. Jermaine Illuminor is going to hook here. And the tight end's going to hook here. And the running back's going to kick this right to the inside. But the interesting part is the fact that when you pull a guy in Andre James to the left. And you have number 76 to kind of come down on this defense tackle. Naturally the defensive tackle has an assignment. He has a rule. He understands the responsibilities of when a guy pulls and a guy's looking to seal that the run may be going to the left. So in this instance, this defensive tackle is turning this way because he believes that this is some sort of run with Andre James pulling where you're going to have it go to this side over here. So the defensive tackle is looking to his left or to the left of the screen. And the thing is, is that's not where the play is going. In fact, we're trapping this guy. But the point of me saying that is pulling Andre James the way you pull him here makes his defensive tackle go to the left here. It makes him turn his head because he thinks he is being backside sealed by the left guard. When in reality, he is being trapped by number 45. And this play right here picked up a nice chunk of yards. Now, of course, it's not like Andre James drew this play up, right? But Andre obviously does his job. Uh, but from a play design, it's a really nice job by Josh McDaniels to do some unique stuff with the blocking. That's going to make these defensive tackles not realize what's kind of happening. It makes them think and process just a second longer, which ultimately allows you to pick up about five to six yards. So one of the interesting things with the Raiders this year is they have switched to a power scheme, but that doesn't mean they will not run the zone concept. Here's an example of that. On this play, the Raiders are running a zone to the right. And it's a pretty interesting block by Andre James because in my opinion, the zone scheme is what James is built for. And this is kind of why. You see how quick he is. You have a defensive tackle here who is playing the one technique on James. James has to reach to the right and then eventually get up to the linebacker. And John Simpson has to overtake this guy. Now James quickly gets out of his stance. And the defensive tackle also slants to the left. John Simpson is able to pick him up. And James switches focus to that linebacker. And he does a good job sealing off his linebacker as well. And there should have theoretically been a crease here for a touchdown. Unfortunately, you have a safety that went unblocked. And in my opinion, Lester Cotton doesn't do a great job in the zone scheme. And, you know, it's interesting to kind of think about this. But 
Is that why Lester Cotton didn't play for John Gruden and Tom Cable? Was the scheme just not a good fit? Like, is he solely a a power guy, right? Because in this concept right here, he's running the zone. And he's getting up to this linebacker here, and I think he could have done a much better job in terms of sealing him off. Like, there's no way that this linebacker should not have been pushed outwards or at least sealed a certain way. And, of course, as you guys see it, the running back picks up a couple of yards, but I think this play could have popped for a much bigger game. But we are looking at Andre James, and I think James does a pretty solid job with his block. He gets up to the linebacker and seals it off. Obviously, John Simpson is able to seal his guy off as well. Pretty interesting play. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. All right, you guys, I want to jump forward. This is the very next drive. Uh, this block right here is kind of interesting because I saw some people on Twitter post this video and they blamed Andre James for missing this block. And it's pretty clear if you guys watch it in terms of the coach's tape, it is not Andre James that messes up on this block. In fact, it is John Simpson who messes up on this block. I'm not sure why, but John Simpson has a really hard time processing. There is no reason that John Simpson should end up on the backside of this defensive tackle. When a defensive line runs a game, you have to be able to switch. And one of the ways to do that is to pass off a guy. So, for example, if you guys watch Andre James, he has his hands on this nose tackle. And John Simpson should switch. He should get off of his guy and he should put his hands on the nose. So, as this play continues, you can see that John Simpson is not switching. John Simpson is not realizing that a defensive line game is happening here. At this point, you have the guy Simpson's responsible for coming on a loop. Simpson is way too forward in my opinion on this play he should have set a little bit further back regardless when you watch this play it is clear that Simpson did not pick up and process this play correctly now Andre James has a decision to make he can either let his guy go and pick up number 91 or he can stick to his guy and hope that number 91 ends up missing or the quarterback's able to evade that defensive tackle either way seeing this video and seeing that people were saying that Andre James made a mistake on this play that too, we didn't have the actual coach's tape at that time, was kind of interesting. Because John Simpson clearly ends up in a terrible spot. I don't know how you end up on the backside of this defensive lineman here. Even then, like, it, it just doesn't make sense to me on this play. Because John Simpson has been doing a bad job in these situations. In situations where he needs to process, or either pick up a blitz, pick up a defensive line game, or, or something to that tune, he doesn't do a good job. And that might be why we've been hearing that Dylan Parham may replace him at some point this season. To provide some context, when a defensive line game happens, this is what it should look like. And they actually do a good job here between the left guard center and right guard. They're going to pick up this defensive line game where you have two stunt guys with one guy coming around. As the play begins, if you watch the center and right guard, they're going to do the first pass off. Andre James is going to pass off his guy to Lester Cotton. He is going to then turn his head to the guy that's coming on the loop. As you're going to see, he's going to go two gaps instead of one. And James then picks up John Simpson's guy. And then Simpson is going to get off and pick up the final guy. That's a pretty solid job. These type of blocks, these type of defensive line games where there's three guys coming is probably the hardest thing to pick up. Now, the difference in this play versus the last play is that John Simpson initially got to make contact with a guy. And I think maybe that was a little bit easier for him to then see and pass off. Or maybe one of these guys talked to him and told him about keeping his head up, potentially keeping his eyes open. Um, but just as a, a, a play and, and just kind of show you guys context, between the center and right guard Lesha Cotton, they do it correctly, right? That's how you pass off a defensive line game. Either way, that's a really nice job by the Raiders interior offense line. Let's get into the next rep. From a technique perspective, one of the things that I have noticed with James is he does a much better job. He, last year, used to use his body more so than his hands. This year, he uses his hands. One of the things I noted in a couple of different pass sets, and I didn't show all of them to you guys, um, but you guys can see this one right here. He does a really solid job using his hands, really punching, really extending that hand out to slow down the defensive lineman. And then just go back and forth, right? Right hand, left hand, right hand. And then at some point, he anchors down. And that is what I want to see by Andre James. I want to see him anchor and really keep the pocket clean as possible. Um, this is a really solid job by James. And from a technique perspective, he's obviously improved from last year to this year in his pass protection. And I think that was the biggest issue for James. 
right? Last year when we watched his tape, he gave up way too much pressure to the quarterback from the inside, right? Center is the one position where you should not be giving up pressure. Now, an interesting thing in this play, and an interesting thing the Patriots do in general, is they bring five guys a whole lot, right? And of course, you know, that's not going to be what the Chargers are going to do. Uh, the Chargers are bringing four, but James will have a nose or a guy playing the one technique in pretty much every single snap, right? Because the Chargers do show a three, four front a ton. Um, so James is going to be pivotal in this game, man. And I think he's gotten better technique wise. Uh, let's go ahead and get to the next rep. If you guys have watched any of my defensive line videos in the past, film breakdowns, either on the main channel or on the second channel, one of the things I oftentimes talk about is block shedding, disengaging, being able to use your hands to win at the point of attack. If you guys watch this defensive tackle, he does a really solid job with his right hand, punching Andre James's left hand, and James gets off balance a little bit, but he still does a nice job to make up ground and not fall forward, right? You guys see that James initially punches with his left hand, the defensive tackle loads up that right hand, he's gonna punch, there comes the punch, James's hand goes down. James kind of leans forward here for a second, as you guys can see, but he does a really solid job not falling forward. Last year, he would have fell forward. This year, he doesn't. This year, he stays engaged, uh, and ultimately, his guy falls into the dirt. I'm not sure if he trips. It's kind of hard to see, but either way, let's get into the next rep. All right, guys, we're going to watch Andre James basically reach on this one technique defense tackle. He does a really solid job with his, his head placement, right? I really appreciate a guy, a center especially, right? Guards or tackles do this great, but centers especially because they have the harder job of sealing off and, and really uh, having to snap the ball and then do their reach blocks. But this is a hell of a job by Andre James. Right as he gets out of his stance, look at his helmet. His helmet is to the left of that defensive lineman's helmet. But the crazy part about this play is pre-snap, the defensive la the defense tackle was to the left of James. So James does have an, a, a harder reach, right? Now, one of the things is this is a crack toss to the left, which is a power concept, but from the left guard, or I should say the, the front side guard, all the way to the back side, they basically are blocking this in terms of the way you would block a zone play, right? The power really just comes from the front side. Um, but like you look at all of these backside guys, they're all stepping to the left, right? Which would basically be like that zone uh, concept. Andre James, I said earlier, is fantastic when it comes to zone blocking. And this him running this zone concept, he cuts off this defensive tackle. Now, I don't think the defensive tackle would have ever made the play regardless. But he still does a nice job getting to his spot, cutting off, sealing off, and basically helping be one of the guys to allow the running back to score a touchdown on this play. Either way, that's a really nice block. Uh, Jackson Barton here is um, obviously a little pumped up and excited here for this play right here. But with that being said, that is the final play that Andre James is actually in the game against the Patriots. Uh, he did, he played two drives. We scored a field goal on the first one, scored a touchdown on the second one. Uh, and obviously, they've made some swaps. Now, you guys see Dylan Parham is in the game. Uh, overall, I think Andre James looks better. He looks improved. And I'm excited for the Chargers game because we're going to find out a lot about this Raiders offensive line. When you got Colton Miller out there, you got whoever the starting right tackle is going to be, whoever the right guard and left guard will be. And I'm excited. I think Andre James has taken the next step in his development, what I wanted to see from last year to this year. So I'm excited. Let me know what you guys think about this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's kind of a quick one. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.